is Taco. And Taco, as you can tell from how much he's shaking right now, is a very fearful dog. Um, he, I, I guess, didn't have a great past. Um, and he's, he's about seven years old right now. So he's been pretty stressed since he's been here at the shelter. He is much better with women than he is with men right now. He's, um, he'll, you know, get in your lap and everything. But he's a little fearful. When he first met me, he was really fearful. Um, the camera's making him extremely nervous right now. So, um, you know, we'll just kind of talk a little bit and try and keep him calm and, and see if, you know, if he'll relax a little bit. Um, but Taco is good with cats. He's good with some dogs. And we're looking for a home with adults only in it. Um, we can be a little bit flexible, like maybe teenagers, um, but mostly adults, just because of the level of nervousness. Anything that's new and different, men um, make Taco nervous. So as you can see, he is, you know, he's shaking like crazy just because there's a camera in the room. Um, so we want whoever adopts him to realize that they're gonna have to spend a lot of time with socialization and do very slow introductions with new things with Taco. Um, and just realize that he he really needs a little extra care and a little special handling. Um, he's a good dog. He's a very sweet dog. He he's a cuddler. He'll get in your lap. He likes to get behind you on your chair in your office and kind of cuddle up to you. He's really been an office dog um, since since he since he came here. Um, he does get up on tables and things like that. I did see him in one of the desks in the office looking out the window. Um, it might have been just to look out the window, but it's also something to be aware of um, <clears throat> in your house. He may do a little table surfing and try and snarf up anything, you know, any goodies that are on the table. So keep that in mind. But a heavy hand is not what you want with him. What you want is some positive based obedience training. So, um, you know, you can go to our obedience classes here at the shelter at the Crazy Canine, or you can go somewhere else, but we do ask um, very positive reinforcement when you're doing obedience with him. Keep it real positive so that he doesn't become fearful of you as an owner. Um, he is, he's, you know, it's what we recommend anyways with any dog, but especially with Taco, you just want to be real slow with him and real careful how you, you know, just get him to do new things and stuff. So um, <clears throat> he hasn't shown any nipping, but he is very, very fearful. Anyway, so this is Taco. Uh, if you're interested in Taco, definitely give us a call, 472-DOGS. And while I have Taco here, I do want to talk about our upcoming silent and live auction. Um, the live and silent auction is going to be held on Saturday, November 7th at the Radisson uh, the Center in New Hampshire in Manchester. Tickets are $50. You can purchase tickets by contacting me, Robin, at robin at rescueleague.org or call me at 472-5714. Um, you can also purchase your tickets online, www.rescueleague.org, and just go to special events, um, and there's a link to purchase your tickets, your auction tickets there online, and you can choose your menu item and everything. Um, if you're interested in getting a table of people together to go to the auction, definitely give me a call. I'll give you all the information. Um, but anyways, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a fun event. It's our most popular event, and it definitely brings in the most money. We are hoping to get a crowd of about 450 people this year um, at the auction. So give us a call, and if you also have an auction item, new please only, um, to donate, we would love to hear from you. And you can call me again as well, 472-5714. And if you're interested in taco, you can call the main line at the shelter, 472-DOGS, and we can give you some more answers about some of his behaviors.